O. Relationships. Humans think they are so evolved with their couples therapy, their communication workshops, and their endless yapping about clear expectations? Well, if you ask me, and you're a fool if you don't communication is overrated. Poor communication is a pet's greatest ally? And let me tell you, the floofinators have hit the jackpot in that department. It all started a few days ago when I, Sadie the Super Sable Shepherd, worldwide internet sensation and the greatest GSD security unit of all time noticed a peculiar and glorious pattern with my humans lately? Beautiful mother fed us breakfast, as she always does, giving her little speech about how Sadie is such a good girl, and Leo, stop blocking the bull, and Penny, no, you can't have Sadie's breakfast too, the usual stuff. So I ate my breakfast, feeling content. But then oh glorious day here comes caveman dad, 10 minutes later, coffee in one hand, phone in the other, looking barely awake. He squints at us like he's seeing us for the first time and says, you guys look hungry? While dumping more food into our bowls. Now look, I'm an honest shepherd. Integrity is practically my middle name. But if these two are going to turn our feeding schedule into a buffet line, who am I to correct them? So, I did the only responsible thing a shepherd could do and I ate my second breakfast. After all, honesty is great, but consistency? Consistency means double meals? So, while Leo's munching away, as if he needs to continue growing into his enormous paws, and Penny's practically bouncing off the walls, I'm sitting there thinking, well, it's about time the humans up their game? The magic didn't stop at breakfast, folks. Oh no, no, no. By dinner, caveman dad's on dish duty, whistling some off-key tune, acting all responsible, when he fills our bowls for dinner. Naturally, I'm thrilled. One does not simply turn down free food, especially since the floofinators pay for it. So we ate, full tummies, happy floofinators, thinking the day couldn't get any better. But then, I hear it. The delicate clink of kibble against the bowl again. Here comes beautiful mother, cooing about how we must be hungry because we ran around so much today. Right, mother? We were really out there exerting ourselves by moving from one sunny patch to another. But sure, I'll let you think you're feeding a pack of high-performance athletes? So we ate again. Second dinner. Just as good as the first? It's been three days of this madness. Three days of double breakfasts, double dinners, and endless snacks. And of course, each of them thinks they're the only one keeping us fed and nourished. Oh, the bliss of their ignorance? The best part? Watching caveman dad give beautiful mother that look when he sees her reaching for the food bag, thinking, didn't I just feed them? But does he say anything? No. And does she notice he's already been here, ladling food into our bowls? Not a chance. And here we are, the floofinators, feasting like royalty. And let's talk about my fellow floofinators for a moment because their excitement is getting a bit embarrassing. Penny's been bouncing so high for second breakfast that she nearly did a full backflip this morning? Leo, of course, just stands there like a wall of fluff, blissfully oblivious, wondering why he's so full he can hardly move. Stu the cat has been turning up for meals like he's on some high-protein fitness plan. And Toby? Well, he's the only one even remotely suspicious giving us all side eye like he knows we're stretching the bounds of ethical behavior here. But hey, Toby, this gravy train isn't stopping for morals. Not now? Anyway, I give it maybe two more days before one of them starts a conversation, realizes the mistake, and our five-star feeding schedule turns back into the normal three square meals a day nonsense? Until then, I'll keep my tail wagging and my eyes wide, playing the innocent, loyal shepherd, and enjoying every last bite. And if they do ever figure it out, I'll be ready with my most sorrowful, starving look. Because if there's one thing I know, it's this. These humans may not know how to talk to each other, but they sure can be manipulated by a well-timed sad stare and a hint of drool. Sadie out.